PK here and welcome to 12 games a year. The series where I only buy 12 games with my own money for all of 2018. Which means people can send me games if they want to or codes or whatever, I don't really care. I mean it's all about me, what I purchase for all of 2018. So as you guys probably guessed from the title card, I got Cuphead for the Xbox One and Windows 10 PC. I uh, bought this particular game at uh, Best Buy, not not my local Best Buy actually, but a Best Buy that's on my way because I commute to the city two times a week. And um, this is actually, the, there's a Best Buy off of uh, Clybourne Station in, in Chicago. I've walked in there a few times and, you know, just kind of browsing, killing time. And I had noticed this about a month ago that they had Cuphead on Xbox One, the physical version, because my, my Best Buy doesn't have this. And I even asked at one point, it's like, hey, do you guys have any in the back? Well, they had like four copies of this. So I'm like, you know what? I've wanted this game for a really long time. I really like the art style of it. And, you know, the idea of playing a, you know, a run and gun, you know, that's really difficult, you know, sounds really intriguing. So, even though I don't have an Xbox One and my Windows 10 computer does not have the specifications required to play it, I thought, you know what, I'm going to get it anyways. I'm just going to like, you know what, I'm going to go for it. And another thing to consider too, as you, I don't know if you guys noticed this, but this was only $19.99, which with tax is like $22 something, is that if you ever go on eBay looking for the physical version the physical version of Cuphead. It runs at this at the time of this recording. It runs for about thirty-seven to fifty dollars, which is insane. I heard at one point people were selling it for like a hundred dollars a while back or whatever, and I was like, that's crazy. But yeah, um, don't deal with the scalpers. Uh, you, you go to, go go look at your Best Buy or find it or look around at different Best Buys. It's not available online. I looked for it, so definitely if you were considering getting this definitely go check out a local Best Buy of some sort or another one nearby for sure and uh, anyways so yes I got the physical copy of Cuphead now the thing about the physical copy of Cuphead is this isn't really a physical copy this game actually is just a case with a no disc in it and artwork basically a little um, a little little art card or whatever um, so you know obviously you're probably thinking well why even bother buying this especially since I don't even have a system to play it on why not just buy one of the cards and you know just use it later well I thought you know it's it was 19.99 so it's roughly around the same price as it would have just to have bought one of the cards so I thought why not get the artwork in the cool case for shelf candy and the other thing too this also brings up a great topic because I've watched a lot of the unboxings of this, and the comment sections all have one thing in common. There's a million people that say, why would anyone buy this? It's not even really a physical game, so why would I buy something that's not even a physical game? And that's an also a great topic. And, my, and you know, my response to that is, what does it mean for something to be truly a physical game? I mean, we look back at like seventh generation, you know, the PS3, PS3 games played on an actual Blu-ray disc. You know, you had to have the disc. I mean, you still do with the current consoles, but it was playing directly from the disc. And the same thing with Xbox 360. In fact, you had to have multiple discs to play games with a lot of those games because of the media storage they chose to use of DVDs instead of Blu-rays. HD DVDs, actually, I think it was. But anyways, whereas modern consoles, what do they do? They you know, something like, uh, you know, a PS4 game. When you buy a PS4 game, you actually are really buying a disc that, you know, downloads all the information onto the hard drive of your system and just actually plays from the hard drive, and the same as with the Xbox One. So, how is that a physical game? And the only reason you even have to keep the disc in there is because it's copyright protection. It's proving that you still have the game, so it spins every once in a while to make sure the disc is still in there. So they know that this is actually your game, and you actually have it, and didn't just download it and then, you know, give it away or something, whatever. So, yes, technically speaking, this is not a physical game. But guess what? In my opinion, this is not a physical game. It's just a disc that's all it is I mean it's 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 not what physical games to me used to be 
and honestly, you know, the other thing to consider too is this is also is not just available for Xbox One, but Windows 10. It's a PC game, and honestly, that's kind of a normal thing, really, been for a while for PC games. I mean, I know they tried this in seventh, the seventh generation as well with DuckTales, I believe. And you know, it's kind of interesting to think about too, is that that's probably the DuckTales case with the upload code is probably more rare than the actual physical disc one was now, because they made it for such a short time. So you gotta wonder if that's gonna be a collector's item someday. And I think this could be a collector's item too at some point, absolutely. So. But anyways, so yeah, I got Cuphead, and I'm really happy and super excited to get this. Now I just got to find an Xbox One. I thought about maybe just upgrading my PC, but I've looked at, you know, what it would cost to do that, and it's like, I could just buy an Xbox One, honestly. So maybe I'm going to try to find an Xbox One. Don't know, maybe I'll trade some stuff off. I don't know, I, but I'm going to eventually play this, so I'm really happy about this. And uh, anyways, what are your guys' thoughts? How do you feel about Cuphead? Is Cuphead a game you enjoy playing? Is it something you've played? Um, tell me in the comments section below. I'd love to hear what you have to say. Thank you so much for watching and keep on gaming. And don't deal with the scalpers.